Why? Why? Almost dead? Are you kidding me? Not the best landing I've ever done. Whoops. Dude, we get guys, uh, we got a King Slime. We got a King Slime, so... Okay, he's gone, he's back. He's somewhere. I looked around, but I can't find the guy. Let me just take another peek. Yeah, dude, I don't know. Oh, there he is. Reload. Ha! Ha! Wow. Too easy. Oh, man. Well, guys, today... Today is going to be pretty fun. Um, oh, oh yes. Dude, this I got to be honest. This is the second King, King Slime I've killed today. They're all over the place. They give you so much XP. I went from 19 to 30 with one King Slime. Um, and, okay, with these things... I don't think they're going to be of much use to us. And that is because I don't think we're going to use the heart canisters. But I had a crazy idea. Um, DMAX showed me something on the mod sauce server one time. If you eat it. Whoops. Um, it disappears. <laughs> so, if you have two miniature yellow hearts, I said that weird. If you have two miniature yellow hearts and you try to eat one, they both disappear and nothing happens. So, yeah, DMAX showed me that. <laughs> no, usually it's supposed to give you like a big, uh, I think it's supposed to give you a health boost and uh, like a strength boost or something. I don't know. Bottom line is, they're gone. Bottom line is, we used to have miniature yellow hearts, and now we don't. So I'm going to try to land this thing a little better. Haha. -ha. Okay. Let's go into VTOL mode. F5 it. Page up it. Con left control. And here we go straight up and I want to look for a little clearing I think that area over here crap well there goes seeing anything oh, this area over there oh man we are way too high <laughs> dude okay look at all these trees even with VTOL mode I was like oh right I forgot to use VTOL last episode even with that, though, it's still nearly impossible to land these things. Like, I just want to move it a couple inches to the right and forward. That's not going to happen. I'm going to go out of VTOL, back in, and where are we? Oh, no. Crap, dude. Well, <laughs> well, here we go. This is why it's so hard. Oh my goodness, what is that? I don't know. Looks like someone's making something. Okay, we'll bring her around and try this again. We just gotta, we just gotta make sure it's in a clear spot, which is nowhere to be found. Oh, yes, yes, this Tinker's, this Tinker's Island, that's where we take it. Okay, one last try, one last try. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Okay, dude, this is... It's harder than it looks, okay? Oops. Oops. 
This isn't what I was wanting to do today, guys. This is not... This, this was not the plan. This plane is jacked. I'm jacked. I can't jump. Why can't I jump? There we go. <clears throat> well, now we're trapped. Oh, don't... Oh, my goodness. Crap. Get me out of here, dude. Get me out of here. Yes. Holy cow. Fly. Fly. Okay. So, last time I said I was going to do um, helicopters more. Let's go VTOL. Fly. Alright. I may have cleared away. Oh. Why? 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 Don't you dare. Almost dead? Are you kidding me? I'm almost dead. This is the worst. This is the worst nightmare that could ever happen. Remind me never to try to land on a Tinker's Island again. Please remind me. Come on, baby. Move. Do something. Yes! We did it! Woo! Okay. We are never ever gonna try to land there again so let's look for an open spot there are no open spots that's the problem there are no stinking open spots okay this is what I'm gonna do not right now but eventually I'm gonna build a garage and it's going to be there will be a huge a huge oh out of ammo there will be a huge clear area to fly planes and we'll have it starting from underground and we'll fly out like that. But, dude, this is just no good. It's no good. Too many trees. What are you doing? <laughs> I didn't look at you. <laughs> Get away from me, freak. Okay. So, guys, we got to build a base today. We got to build a base. Like, we're going to start it. I know I'm not going to finish it today, but we'll at least start it. But really quick, just want to show you just a couple things in town. John made this custom NPC B train. Come on, B train. Look at me. Yeah, look at me. Okay. Nice goggles. Uh, those look like night vision goggles, so it's pretty cool that you're wearing those in the daytime. <laughs> he probably just leaves them on just so he doesn't have to take them on and off. I understand. Um, okay. So, Dark Fan was working on this area. This is sweet because these are actually carpenter safes. So you can put stuff in here, and then it, it'll drop into the hopper, and then into the redstone furnace, pulverizer, sawmill, whatever you need. It's pretty great. And then down here, um, Cube gave me this ender chest, and it looks like we'll already have to move it because we're getting in the way of this storage thing. Um, oh, hello. Great way, place to put that stuff. Um... Yeah, Dark Fan's been doing a lot of work. He's got the power running off Redstone, which is amazing. Don't cry, though. It's for the betterment of the team. <laughs> really, we do have a lot of Redstone. But this is sweet, man. Like, he was showing us how this works. Uh, the red bar is a meter, and that shows how full it is. So on this one, on the cobblestone, you can see that it's kind of filling up. But I think all you got to do is just... Left click. You left click um, to get stuff out. Right click to put it back in. Yeah. Yeah, left click for a stack. So that's cool. And I think that's that's new to thermal expansion, at least um, in the 1.7 version, compared to what uh, we used to play on Attack the B team with the 1.6. So that's cool. But what I need to do is pick a spot for this for this place I want to build and what I'm thinking is this is just gonna be the main place where we build our weapons and the stuff we're gonna need for the battle because this is an awesome place for um, like 
the ore processing, um, resources, stuff like that. And this base is gonna be um, just more, more like battle stuff. So I'm gonna look around for the perfect spot. And in the meantime, we will go into a creative world and I'll show you a general idea of what it's gonna look like. We'll set up the schematica and um, then we'll be back, start building. So here it is, and I know it looks like nothing special. I am aware of that, but um, originally, I showed you guys this on the stream last night, and originally I had these as the blue, um, the blue limestone blocks, but I went with the red just because, you know, we're team red. It doesn't really look red, but it's called red. Um, but there's a lot of things missing. I'm gonna be doing a lot of carpenters wedges throughout here, you know, making it fancy. Little of this, little of that, little of this, you know, that kind of stuff. But the only thing is, schematica and carpenters blocks don't really mesh well. I had some problems. So what we'll do is just get this basic like skeleton frame and then throw that in there and then I can just add all the car carpenter stuff later. Um, here, I'm gonna have some security craft stuff. We'll do, um, what's it called? Reinforced iron door. And then we'll do some retinal scanners. Yeah. Retinal scanners, yeah, it'll be great. So, let's do the schematica. And I wanted to, I just wanted to share this part with you guys just because, you know, it's, it's, it's different than what we're used to doing. You know, we don't usually have the ability to to do this in like vanilla and even in other mod packs. I've never I haven't really had a lot of experience with schematica, so this is it's just cool and I just want to share the the process with you guys. So there's the red point. Let's do the blue point here. So I just hit the star on the number pad. Blue point, X, C, Y, whoops, ha ha. Perfect, so everything is inside. We will make it, save it. So, save the selection as schematic. We'll do red team base did it work haha -ha! red team base it worked great so let's go back into the server and we'll start building welcome to the future site of the red team um, uh, what are we gonna call it uh, I don't know what it's gonna be is a building for us, that's it. So here we go, it's going here, boom, there it is. And like I said, I'm gonna be making some adjustments to it as we go, so I, I think this is gonna be a good location. We're pretty close to, to Dark's place, um, John's place is over there, Etho is over here, and yeah, I think I just wanna keep everything relatively close. So I don't have all the materials, um, mainly the limestone. So let's just throw all that stuff in the hot bar and start printing. So guys, really quick, um, while I made a cut there, I got a call from my dad. And if any of you were there at the 12 hour live stream Sunday, um, oh yeah, here we go. If any of you were there, you will have heard that there were some issues with uh, our family dog Snickers. And if you're not familiar with Snickers, um, he, if you wanna see what he looks like or anything, I did a video um, when I was watching him. It's, I was doing a Tuesday evening drive, but I just call it Tuesday evening Snickers. Um, but you know, that's just what he looks like. And I have some other videos with him in it but he was super sick like 
nobody knew what was going on. We took him to the hospital, uh, the animal hospital, and they had no idea what was going on. And we obviously had no idea what was going on. And he was, um, he was like throwing up blood and, uh, you know, he was having bowel movements and there was lots of blood and water. Sorry if you're eating as you're watching this video, but the dog was sick and no one knew what was going on. We we didn't want to lose him. You know, he's he's eight he's eight years old, and in dog years it's you know it's a little bit older, but it's not it's not that old. So um, one thing here, these are actually supposed to be. You can see those are supposed to be anti pavers. Um, last actually that yeah that's one thing with schematica like if it if it doesn't have the exact block there it's just gonna put any version of it um, unless like vanilla unless it's vanilla all the vanilla blocks work well but anyway crap <laughs> I'm destroying this thing <laughs> But anyway, um, I just got a call from my dad, and he said he picked him up from the hospital. He's The dog is doing a lot better. So I just wanted to give you guys a little quick update there. I know I mentioned it in the stream, and um, you know you guys were uh, concerned for him. So I wanted, I wanted to let you know he's doing better. Hopefully, he's going to make a full recovery. Uh, but speaking of that stream, guys, that was so much fun. We did the 12-hour live stream because um, you guys helped me hit that. Uh, that milestone with subscribe Twitch subscribers, which thank you again. It was it was just so so great to be able to experience that with you guys, and I can't believe how many of you stuck around for the whole thing. Like I think there were a lot of people who were there for the whole live stream. So this is the pulverizer redstone furnace. Um, ooh, sawmill, baby. Let's do, yeah, let's chop them up. I, I don't think I've ever used the sawmill before. So I think that doubles the output um, from logs to planks. That is awesome. Um, and Dark Fan actually upgraded this so it's faster than it used to be. So thank you, Dark Fan. Um, but yeah, guys, that, that stream was just amazing. We did probably eight or nine hours of Flyboys. We played some Cops and Crims with you guys. Um, then I played CSGO with Jay and Q. And then after that, um, did a little designing for uh, like t-shirt concepts and um, a new channel overlay for the Twitch channel. And uh, part of the stream, I was just eating pizza. <laughs> but we went this the full 12 hours, and I gotta say, it went faster than I thought it would. Uh, let's make these anti-pavers. Or pavers, maybe. Can't remember what I did. Pavers or anti-pavers, doesn't really matter. Um, but it was just so much fun. And I can't believe that you guys were sticking sticking with me through all of it like because a lot of people you know a lot of people might not want to watch me uh try to design t-shirts or try to design um, a new overlay for the channel uh or just sit there eating pizza it was just it was just crazy like your guys support really blew me away so thank you everybody who was there and everyone who participated um it's just amazing we're definitely going to have to do it again sometime. Um, but yeah, that was just that was just awesome. So, um, okay. Let's grab the rest of this red limestone. I'm definitely going to need more. And I'm going to need to get some marble. I don't have any marble. Because there's a lot of marble involved in this build. Um, okay. Okay. So we'll get these on here, and we'll see how far. I really didn't get a lot of progress today, um, but it's a start. You got to start somewhere, and this is where we start. So we place these. Boom. Um, so yeah, like 
I gotta say, with this new area, I was having a hard time figuring out what we're gonna do, but I think this is gonna be a great project. I think I want to create a like a watchtower, maybe a garage thing. Um, so I'm starting to get a lot more ideas, so I'm very excited. Now let's turn this off and see what it looks like so far. Yeah, nothing, nothing too great, but it's a start. I'm actually happy with that. All the building on camera? Yeah, dude. Okay, so I'm gonna need to get more materials. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to hit that like button. Um, and uh, if you haven't, subscribe. It'll let you know when I put up new videos. But anyway, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to check out the other guys on the Flyboy server. Link in the description. And I will talk to you later.